So for this episode of Vlogmas, guys, I wanna talk to you guys about a story that completely changed my perspective on what it means to help the people that are around you. Christmas number two. Today. So guys, for anyone who's ever heard of the story of the burning house, okay? If you've ever heard of the story of the burning house, the idea goes as such, okay? Imagine you're in a house, right? It's Christmas Eve, or you're with your family, right? And you know, the chimney is usually for Santa Claus to come in, but instead the chimney is being used with its four because what? Because the house is on fire right so guys the house is on fire the house is burning there's things falling through the you know falling from the roof right and it's really bad guys this is christmas eve of all times when the entire family is together right everyone's having a good time enjoying everyone's co uh, company it's in the maybe there are cookies in the oven somebody left them there but guys the house is burning no one can find a way out and everyone looks at each other guys and everyone kind of kind of gives up they give up hope why because they can't see a way out. The only thing that they can see is that this house is burning. And in a burning house, there's not a very good outcome. And now you're a part of this family and you're someone who's always been super stubborn and you're the person that says, hey, don't give me a million reasons why this won't work. Give me 0.01% reason why it will work. That's all I need to know. And so as everyone's huddling up and everyone is accepting defeat, you look and, and then eventually you see a window that's open and you see a pathway to get there. And you start to tell your family, you say, hey guys, come on, I got it, I got it, come on. Guys, there's a way out, I'm telling you, there's a way out, there's a way out. But guess what? They don't believe you. Why don't they believe you? They have accepted defeat that they are going to burn to death. And you said, you know what? Forget it. Forget them and I'm getting out of this house. And so you know what you do? You leave them and you run like hell to get there and you jump your elbow you break the window right you've got cuts glass in your hair you're bleeding all these different things happening to you broken bones you can barely walk you break your ankle on the way down guys in the five maybe 10 maybe 15 maybe 30 seconds that it took for you to leave your family to go jump out of that window. Your family in that moment, you know what they did? They thought you turned your back on them. They thought that you said, screw them. In that 30 second window, your family looked at each other and said, wow, our son, our daughter, our cousin, our uncle, our aunt really had the nerve to leave us behind and save his or herself for selfish reasons, for selfish desires, for selfish gain. Now guys, at the end, boom, you get up, you brush yourself off. And now that you realize that you're alive and that you have your, your limbs, right? You turn around, you go break this door down in order to let the rest of your family out the house. And so guys, what's the moral of this story on this Vlogmas episode today, guys? Is that as an entrepreneur, as somebody who wants better for their family, as somebody who says, hey, I refuse to accept the environment, the reality that we have here today. I have a vision for a way out. But they say, guys, where there is no vision, the people will perish. And you said, you know what? I don't care what's happening today. I'm not gonna lean on sight. I will lean on faith. I'm not just gonna rely on what we see here today in this very moment, but I'm gonna continue to lean on the 1% chance that there's a way out. In that moment, guys, a lot of your friends, a lot of your family are gonna think that you've turned your back on them. They're gonna think that you went out to become an entrepreneur, to chase money, to go after cars and nice houses and selfish desires, and that you were willing to turn your back on that family to go win big for yourself. Unfortunately, guys, one of the realities of a leader, one of the realities of a change maker, of somebody who's gonna initiate major change for those around you, the unfortunate reality is this, for a small window, for a small moment in time, you may have to make a decision that in the short term is gonna hurt. Because guys, when you jump out that window, it's not easy. It's not easy hitting your elbow in the glass. It's not easy breaking your arm and you know breaking your ankle on the way down and cutting up your face and the bruises and the glass and everything that comes with the territory. And it's not easy to have your family think, wow, this guy just turned his back on us. Wow, this girl just turned her back on us. If you have the vision and the understanding and the wherewithal and the wisdom to know 
that that is just a small window in your life guys how good it is going to feel when you're able to break down that door with the resources that you've brought and let the rest of your family your loved ones the people in your community the people that you care about the people that have been with you since day one to let them out that door as well and so guys the moral of the story is this understand history understand where you've come from understand where you're going there's nothing new written under the sun and guys the only way that we're willing to the only way you'll be willing to make that decision is if you know what's on the other side of that jump and so guys my suggestion to you guys and i implore you guys make that jump but go collect the wisdom guys read the right books put yourself in the right environments get the right mentorship so that you can be at peace when you make that jump that hey this is not gonna last forever with that being said, guys, you have a great rest of your day, guys. I, I hope you guys are enjoying this holiday season, guys. And be on the lookout for your next episode, guys, of Vlogmas. Take care.